Hi. Last time I discussed about the female reproductive system and its organs. Now let me ask you a few questions. Why do we women need a uterus? Why do we need tubes? And why do we need ovaries? Let's look at them one by one. The uterus is a muscular organ, as I explained to you before, which is a small fist size or pear shaped organ which can stretch all the way up to the size of a melon. So this organ is the one that is situated at the back of the pubic bone. This organ on its own has a muscle, a muscular wall around and cavity in the middle. The cavity is lined by an endometrium. So every month when you have a menstruation, this endometrium is the one that sheds out. At the same time, this is the cavity where the baby is going to grow. So that is the most important functions of the uterus. When you take the uterus from the uterus sides, you get the two fallopian tubes attached. They are again long thin muscular tubes and inside the tubes there are hairy like projections lining the whole length of the tube. The tube is of different sizes throughout the length. The end of the tube is where the finger like projections end and that is where the finger like projections with wavy movements will be catching the ovum or the egg that is released into the pelvic cavity into the tube. Through the hair like projections the wave like actions move the ovum into the uterine cavity. When the sperm comes up from the vagina they enter the fallopian tube they meet and the fertilization occurs within the tube. Once a fertilized egg is there in the tube, again the hairy like projections move and pushes the uh, fertilized ovum into the uterine cavity where it implants and grows. So this is what happens with the tubes and the uterus. When we look at the two almond shaped ovaries or the end of the tubes, they are the ones which hold millions and millions of eggs. At the same time, they produce hormones which are very important for a female body to function. All these organs are situated inside the pelvic cavity. So these organs as a whole, these are their functions. At the same time, the organs are held in like a hammock-like muscle inside the pelvic cavity. You imagine the uterus is the middle of the hammock, bladder is in the front and the rectum is at the back. All these organs are held like that. During delivery, during pregnancy and due to other surgeries and injuries, if there is a damage in the pelvic um, flow, you can end up having the stability being very unstable. Hence, women do get uterine prolapses, bladder prolapses, uh, urinary incontinence, all these other problems because of the stability. So now you understand the female reproductive organs, they are functions. Hence, you will understand when I talk about the abnormalities and the normalities later in my other videos. Thank you.